seas of anger move across vast territories and drop their tragic burden of burning dust. is not the good earth to man without rain. Rain for the earth, rain to bring up the falling water table, rain to make crops grow, rain for the grass that ties the earth into place. When the wind clouds gather, nothing holds down the soil. man has been forced to leave, the grasshopper hangs on like a plague. The gleaners, as though they could find something here that the farmer has overlooked, always digging away. But the dry rot of a dead corn stalk can offer but little, even to a grasshopper. Dust on the rampage, dust that rides in the wind, that follows the storm, that spreads over increasing areas, that piles thicker and thicker, adding to the woes of the West. Those behind closed doors and tight windows must inhale a daily quota of powder dust. Tidings from the outside world reach the farmer, but no matter what news he has received, it cannot be as harrowing as the story he has to tell. Women and children fight their way through blinding dust to carry on their daily tasks. The patient, uncomprehending victims of wind and shattered earth. Whirling dust stings the nostrils of man and beast. there should have been wheat, emptiness where there was hope. And dust to dribble out of an empty hand into the wind. The early plainsmen built their houses of sod. Some children thrive in them, or could thrive, if only the plains were green again. A few of these houses still remain, threaded together by grass roots. These were pioneer homes, monuments to the courage of the first settlers. The deserted barns and ravaged farmyards tell a moving story. Sometimes, with nothing left to stay for, the plainsmen moved on. Vagrant winds closed the door that was left swinging. Implements rust in the sun. Man's inventions, like his plans, discarded and cast aside. Junk. Nothing for farmers to ship away and sell to feed to their stock, to leave to their sons. 
There's plenty of wind for the windmills, but the water and the wells they pump must be conserved. Sheep roam the plains where the water holes are dry. Four times a day, the sheep rancher hauls water from the nearest well. Five miles each way for these men, too far for sheep to travel. The sheep drink and life goes on until other pastures can be found or until the rain comes. When nearby wells fail, Farmers haul water from distant places for animals and household needs. The homesteaders settled and fenced and plowed this farm. This is not old land. One generation pioneered to tame it. Their sons and daughters, with the same gallant courage, are struggling to conquer and develop this land. Along the roads and through towns, little herds and big ones from across the plains moved out or sold, but never the basic herd, the breeding herd, the stockman's capital when it can be saved, and almost always it can. These cattle are moving on to green pastures. 